I grew up on Coke and Pepsi. Oh my gosh. Now I won't touch diet Coke and Pepsi because I know it's no good for me and I don't drink a lot of pop but I still like a bottle of pop. Mm -hmm. Tell us about whether or not that's pretty good for your health or it's okay for your health uh, and un unfortunately I'm afraid you're going to tell me it's not very good for my health. Well it's not but you know everything in moderation. in moderation. I'm not here to say don't drink a Coke or a Pepsi or that type of a soft drink. If you have to have one a day it's not going to kill you. The point is that people don't have one a day. It becomes addictive like a cup of coffee. Absolutely. And so uh, the, the statistics are that within the first 10 minutes that you drink that Coke, 10 teaspoons of sugar hits your system. Mm. Okay, that's why we get that rapid high. That's why people drink Coke or those type of drinks, right? All right, within 20 minutes, your blood sugar spikes and your liver responds. So the minute we kick that liver into motion, then it, it bursts insulin. So can you imagine if you are Syndrome X, hypoglycemic or diabetic what it's going to do to you. The, the liver is screaming, it's, it's bursting with insulin coming out. Then within 40 minutes, the caffeine absorption is totally complete. And so your pupils are dilated the same way as if you had um, taken some kind of an amphetamine. Your blood pressure rises, your pupils are dilated, and your liver dumps more sugar into the bloodstream to try to overcome that. Okay? Then within 45 minutes, your body increases dopamine production. And the dopamine production stimulates the pleasure centers of your brain, so people feel good, right? Mm -hmm. They get that natural high. But it's a physically identical response in the body to heroin. Okay. So not only are we going to be, that's why we have such a, uh, an increase in diabetics, because we're so addicted to these soft drinks that have such a high sugar content. And then people will go, I have patients that have said to me, but I buy that nice, and I'm not mentioning any brands, that nice, bottle of iced tea that's supposed to be healthy for me because it's green tea. They never read the label. We go back to patient education again. The first ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. That's sugar. It's yes. sugar any way you look at it. So not only um, do you have all of these highs and lows and the, the liver just screaming, but then within 60 minutes of drinking that, you have a sugar crash. So what do you need? Another drink of the same type to bring you back up again. So you have this constant pendulum that's swinging, and that's just not healthy. Not to mention the fact that you can become diabetic. So then if I go and buy a nice big bottle of Knudsen's wild cherry juice and drink that, I'm just drinking pure sugar, right? Well, it depends on the cherry juice. If it's unsweetened pure cherry juice, you're okay. Good. But you still have natural sugar in it. So but that people, should be all right, right? Not if you're diabetic. If you're a diabetic, you have to watch your sugar level. So whether it's a piece of fruit, which has natural sugar, or whether it's artificial sugar, it's still sugar to the pancreas. So you still have to be careful. But yes, for a healthier a drink, I like cranberry juice. I buy the concentrate cranberry that doesn't have uh, any sugar. And it's tart, but I like the tartness. So I just add a little bit to my water. I don't drink it straight because I can't tolerate it. It's too tart. But you can do many of those things like that with the flavors that you like with the natural, unsweetened, pure um, concentrate. And great alternatives to Absolutely. Coke or Pepsi or other kind of cola or soda drink. Or make a lemonade or an iced tea that's healthy and use a natural sweetener. Great idea. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome.